it's asymptomatic that if we didn't define ourselves for ourselves, we will be defined by others for their use and to our detriment. Audre Lorde. Well, I was just telling someone about this project, about uh, your idea of having, having a triptych, basically, of how people viewed the black woman at the beginning of time, or the beginning of time here in America, basically, and then how people view a black woman just in the outside world, you know, we, we put on what we believe we look like to the world, but then of course, because we're on the inside of ourselves, other people see us differently. And then of course, there's the, um, what we really want, want people to see is the, for instance, I, I think of myself as being gregarious and vivacious and, and um, charismatic, but sometimes uh, I've gotten that people find me for instance, in my singing, they say that they found my voice very comfortable. So the, the, the matron or the motherly or the matriarch person. Um, I think I said to you first, the first time that maybe the person with the, with the apron and the apple pie, you know, almost like the girl next door, but because I am black, then I would be the person giving you apple pie to make you feel comfortable. And, um, I think it's important so that, so that the world can see that we are more than what the world believes we are. That we are, yes, we're possibly part of all of those things, but then we're so much more. And that's why I think it's important. The stereotypes that I think they're applied to me, I used to work in a high school and students always, always thought, oh, you're the motherly type. Miss Pearson, and now, which is kind of an oxymoron because they would always call me Miss Pearson. <laughs> Even after I got married, they said, oh, Miss Pearson this, Miss Pearson that. Um, but th the motherly type, the person who cares, which I'm not knocking, I, be I believe I'm a caring person. Um, but the person who would kind of, um, I, it makes me think of Mother Goose taking all those children underneath her, her wings, my arms being the wings. That's how I think that sometimes I'm viewed as a motherly type, maybe um, unassuming. Uh, for myself, I see myself as, um, on really good days, I think of myself as charismatic, vivacious, um, lovely, uh, spiritual, um, I, you know, and I, actually I don't have bad days, so, <laughs> um, I'm, I used to be shy, but I can't say that I'm shy anymore. Um, I used to be unassuming, but that was so long ago, it's not me anymore. I want the world to see me as, as a vivacious entrepreneur who's a go-getter, charismatic, um, who's word is her bond and who also is a go-getter. There have been so many years, I think, hundreds of, in, you know, in, especially in the United States, there's been, what, two, two hundred, two and a half, hundred years of the black woman being the matriarch, the strong black woman, don't cross her or she'll tear you to shreds. And I'm going to say that that's probably going to stay a, a bit longer, however, I think that the edges have softened because they have to, because this is a new day. This is a new time. Yes, there are mothers and they have to be strong for their children. That's true. And there are business owners. They have to be strong for themselves and their, for their family and everything. But I don't think that we have to go out fighting like we used to um, when we were enslaved. enslaved. Although, <laughs> I will say that there are times that we are still enslaved and we're enslaved by our words. We're enslaved by uh, still the idea of where a black woman could go. And I really believe that a black woman can go anywhere she damn well pleases and do it well. 
Hi, my name is Ijama Di Ihenacha. I'm a fine art photographer and creator of The Reimagining. Thank you so much for taking a moment to understand why this project is so important to us. Please help us make this historic project possible. 100% of your donation will go towards the creation of this exhibit. Visit us at idistudios.com for more information on how you can help The Reimagining.